When I was uh, in eighth grade, I was on the eighth grade basketball team. My role was 20-20-20 uh, club. When our team was 20 points up or 20 points down with 20 seconds to go, that's when I got to go into the game. Uh, over the course of the season, I counted, I, I played a total of six minutes and 57 seconds. And I just remember this grueling process of trying to impress the coach. Like, maybe he'll put me in if I, like, kill it in practice. And I thought I was doing pretty good. Then he got to the first game, and he didn't put me in the whole first half. And I was like... And so at the beginning of the second half, I'm, like, I'm ready. And he looks down, and he says, all right, David, come here. And so I go running down, and he, he, he's coaching, and he kind of looks down, and he's like, oh, no, 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 not you yet, the other David. And I was like, oh, man, it was, oh, I'm making you really feel sorry for me right now. But uh, it, here's the picture. I just remember, like, I just want to impress the coach. Like, I want him to get him to notice me. And, and so much of world religion is built on, okay, what can I do to kind of impress God? What can I do to get to God? I have so many conversations with people saying, yeah, I think if I just go to church enough, I'm gonna make it. It's like, oh, you are free from trying to impress God. You can't impress God. We're sinners before. God comes running after us, though there is nothing impressive in us. This is the grace of God. We are unashamed. We are shamed in our sin, guilty of sin, unable to even be in His presence. And this God comes to us. Did you see it back in Genesis 3? Remember, God made clothing of animal skin to cover over man and woman and their shame, their sin. In order for an animal skin to cover over man and woman's shame, what had to happen to that animal? The animal had to die. That's actually the first time death appears in the Bible. And so the stage is set for a story where one day God would send a substitute, His Son, Jesus is a sacrifice. The temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. God covers over the shame of our sin through the sacrifice of a spotless Lamb, His Son. God seeks the guilty. God covers the shameful. And God protects the fearful. Even earlier here in Revelation, you look in chapter 6, and people are crying out to keep them from the face of God because they know the judgment that is due their sin. But now, so follow this, they will see His Face. There will need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever. Here is our hope. One day there will be no more curse. There will be no more hurt. There will be healing, and we will see his face and have no fear. And to hurting men and women all across this church, Jesus is your only hope. For when you know Jesus, when you trust and love and worship Jesus, you have a hope that ultimately conquers every single hurt in this world. Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of God, the Savior of the world and Lord of all will be praised. Jesus will be praised. This is the one whose advent, whose coming we celebrate at Christmas.